everyone. How are y'all doing? Okay, so firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone for cooking and uh, sending me pictures of all my recipes. It's making me so happy. Uh, so today, I thought since tomorrow is Friday and it's the weekend, uh, I'm going to make my my favorite Friday night midnight snack. What's your favorite Friday midnight snack? Mine is bitter roti and roast chicken. So since we can't get to that, shall we try to make it at home? So let's first start with the roast chicken. I have a chicken breast here that I have washed and uh, left on this baking tray. Here I have some turmeric, sugar, chili powder, salt and some garlic powder. Okay, so I'm going to mix that all together and this is all I'm going to do. So I, I really want this to be like the proper khade roast, pa, roast chicken. See, I have bread on my mind. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spray this guy with some oil and just sprinkle this mixture over it. Okay. Wash your hands well. Get the sides also. back a lot of flavor there okay. all right and all I'm going to do is pop this guy in the oven for about 45 minutes on a really high heat so I'm not looking for like a moist roast chicken. I'm looking for that hard kind of real cuddly roast chicken. Okay, so I'll pop this in the oven and I'll see you soon. I had posted this egg roti recipe on my page and a lot of you had asked for the video. So I, that's why I thought actually that we do this. Uh, so in this bowl, I have three cups of flour. Uh, to that, I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. I'm also going to add Two teaspoons of sugar, of sorry, salt, not that sugar, and three tablespoons of oil. This has a little more than three, so I'm going to save a little back for the kneading. Okay, so clean your hands well and just bring this together. Again, you can do this even in a stand stand mixer. But this is giving me some satisfaction, so I'm going to do this by hand. So I brought this dough together in the bowl and it then just switched to my board. So this is a very sticky dough as you can see and that's the way it should be. Um, just bring it together with your hand. This also has to be a very oily dough. So just keep adding little bits of oil as you keep kneading. Just bring this together with your hand and knead it until it's soft for about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes would be fine. It's fine that the dough is sticky like that. I have kneaded this dough for 10 minutes so it's quite soft now. After that what you need to do is grab a plate, oil that also really well and then just grab the dough from the edge here and with your hand squeeze out a ball. Okay, and just that, and that, and just create a tiny ball. I'll show you one more. Grab this. It just needs to be somewhat equal. Okay, spring it together like that. So what you need to do is make all the balls. You should get about eight from this, uh, from three cups of flour. Make eight balls. 
brush it well with some more oil because it has to remain very oily and cover it and keep it on your counter for like three hours if possible and then I'll be back to make the rotis. Hi, we are back. So I've left my uh, balls of roti uh, for about three hours and they are back. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, it looks nice. Right. Then, let me tell you about this egg. So, in this uh, jug, I have beaten four eggs. I have eight rotis here, but I'm going to use only four eggs because sometimes I find that the filling is a little too much and I'm using a smaller pan, so I'm going to use only four eggs, right? If you can, uh, crack your eggs and beat them in a jug like this where you can pour. I'll show you it's much easier than a bowl. So you need to have your surface where you're going to make the rotis really well oiled because otherwise like I said this is a sticky dough so it will make life a little difficult if it's not quite oily. Have a little extra oil on hand as well. I'm just going to grab one. See it's quite sticky. Okay. Oil your fingers also and just what you need to do is just stretch this out in the meantime switch your stove on and let it heat up a bit so if you have something like that that's fine. Like I said, I'm not going to make it too big because my pan is not that big. So once you have stretched it out for it to look like this, I'm going to add this to an oiled pan. Carefully. Grab a spoon and just stretch it out. It's okay if there are little holes, that's fine. Let it cook for a minute. Now what I'm gonna do is slowly add the egg. See what I mean about the jug? How it's easier? Okay. I would say add like three, four tablespoons of the egg mixture and just let it cook for a minute. It doesn't have to be perfect obviously, this is a homemade egg roti. Close and close. Try to close. Okay. Look at how nice it looks. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit because I seem to be smoking my cameraman. Okay, so once your egg is cooked like three quarter way through, you can you can flip it. You can try to flip it so that the other side cooks as well. Yum yum yum. So I cooked it for about two minutes on each side and now it's ready. So do all eight like that. Ta -da! Look how pretty it looks. Yay. Okay. So this is our chicken that we roasted earlier. Look how nicely it's come out. I tasted it in between and it's really yummy. Uh, for this dish, you need actually three elements. The egg roti, the chicken and you need a really, really nice gravy. Okay. So, um, I have a chicken gravy that I made like two days ago. I just thickened it up a little bit. Make sure your gravy is like super yummy because that is the actually the character of this dish. Okay, so I'm just going to put this together now. Like they do in the kade hopefully.
since today is Thursday, you can try it out for the weekend. Okay, let's do a small one. Right. I'm just going to add the chicken. I'm using my hands because how do you think they make it in the shop? And the yummy hodda. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up really well. How good does that look? And the important thing, the gravy. that look good. I'm going to dive in because I can't wait. Oh my. <laughs> it's really yum. Okay, try it out and watch our channel for more easy recipes. See you next week. Bye. Then what you need to do is just with your spoon, just fold the sides in. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Ah. You're still rolling. 